Good afternoon, America. Greetings and salutations from Grace Barking Ministries. Grace undefined. America. Oh. Grace and I have been cooped up in hell all day. She had her bath, I had my shower. <laughs> and then she wanted to go out after her bath because she's that way. She loves. She built in her dyes. My baby is fresh and clean. She don't smell like an Alvin Avenue bar dialo. Uh President Hussein Obama quoted his scripture. Very lame. I mean, the man is lame. I'll tell you, he lied from the first greeting to over to the last. Faith and deeds. Obama, I'm going to read you some scripture, baby. Okay? I'm going to read you some scripture. Page 1914, Obama. NIV Bible. What good is it? my brothers and sisters if someone claims to have faith but no deeds that's you Obama you said you claim scripture so you must have some kind of faith or you lying Obama Edmund Brown is fixing to extend health care Obamacare to five million I want to ask you something who the fuck's gonna pay for it who's gonna pay for it we are already paying for public housing. We are already paying. Because yep, they have our jobs. I want you to say that. Uh, President Hussein Obama, you went to La Mala, El Bueno, y El Feo, a radio station. In fact, I saw it on YouTube. Mr. Hussein Obama, I want to ask you, how many Mexicans voted? How many immigrants voted? this last election. How many? Can such faith save us? Obama, you are like the people, the criminals. You claim faith, but your, your deeds reflect. Not only do you lack clarity of scripture, much less knowledge of God for your deeds so say so how you doing Barry suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food Obama say for example God placed us here in America he didn't pay us into some third world that was not our place this Gucci okay okay Obama are you clothing American brothers and sisters, are you handling handing daily food? If one of you says to them, "Go in peace, keep warm and well fed," but just nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. It's like this church over here. It's like thirty thirty Olympic. Don't claim. You, these Koreans need to put a sign out there like these Mexicans. We service only Koreans. I am without glasses of 3030, the place I got them last time. Walk their elitist nature like an Obama. What are your deeds, Obama? TPP. What are your deeds, Obama? I'm walking terrorist actions. Where is the Democrats for my protection? that I have supported. Where is my president of the United States of America? You let immigrants in here that don't even know the Pledge of Allegiance, much less speak our English or know our core values. You have let in enough homosexuals into the United States of America. It's going to take the second coming just to wash this shit away. Do you understand Hussein Obama? My little bisexual. Obama, what are your deeds? 
What are the deeds of 1131? South Eldon Avenue. What are the deeds of 1112 South Eldon Avenue? For William Holden, I saw the whore arriving this morning. Explain to me Hussein Obama. As Glenn Beck says, we are a charitable nation. Everybody wants to come. We're telling other people. It's like Mexico. Mexico is telling us how to do our immigration. Yet them sons of bitches, you catch one of these over there from El Salvador or anywhere. God dang it, they'll just lock them up tighter than a... Lock them up tighter. As you have lied and lied and lied and locked your lives away. Obama, what are your deeds? I want to hear them. You spoke scripture. You opened the door. And now Edmund Brown, Mr. Electrolyte, in short, is going to expand, expand, expand Obamacare. Boy, haven't you told your criminals, we're going to repeal, we're going to, Obama, everything you have done as a communist Muslim will be like a re-engineering. Uh, what are your deeds? Go in peace. That's what you tell us, Obama. We doing better. But get right here in the Olympic and Vermont is a black woman a sudden that is homeless. That is terrorized by your people. Your people. That'd be the 11 million you're going to get more than God gave us. Because God knew we could survive. It's packed in our Gucci. Why in the hell don't these people, these immigrants, learn what we got in America and get the fuck back to their country? The Koreans, I walk. Hussein, I took my girl for a walk. I refused to let her down and pour up some places. And mind you, UCLA gives so much money to Carly Ponte. They ought to hire some people to clean it up. Oh, excuse me, Obama, they did. Obama, I have pictures on my Facebook. Oops. Mark, a communist and a threat to Israel, deleted them. Deleted them. I want to know, Obama, how many deeds from UCLA before these sons of bitches learned to pick up, up curb their bitches? How many? I mean, Zen built is building up beautiful buildings. And look around. It looks like Korea. It looks like South Korea. It does. Because they already know the culture of decay. They ignore the Mexicans. They hire them to do their work. But other than that, they ain't got nothing much to do with them. Unless they fucking them. Like here, Obama, what is the deed of a woman next to 1122 taking to her knee and sucking the cock of a Korean? What's the deed in that? Is it Christian? Is it God lie? Is it Christ lie? I want to know the deed of an immigrant who comes to America and loves us so much that they help us keep it clean. No, like Leo Ponte. I be goddamn the only person working with a black man assistance as more than five Mexicans stood around bullshitting. Bullshitting. Not working. You understand what I'm saying? What is their deed for the school? What is their deed for the children? America, let me tell you something. Someone must be accountable for what is walking. That nasty communist Muslim, he waited till after the elections to walk executive order. Well, it didn't help him much. I hear Nancy Pelosi is 
most upset you losing her power. I need to read this. It's page 1914. In the same way, faith by itself, if it's not accompanied by action, is dead. Everybody, within a breath, within a sigh, is of Lucifer, because their actions do not reflect scripture, but self, I, and what can I take? But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that there is one God, good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. Lucifer can walk miracles. Lucifer can heal. Lucifer can do everything but save your soul. You foolish person. Do you want evidence that faith without deed is useless? You want evidence. Do you want evidence that what you do defies your reward in pace, action, and ego, therefore in just cause? You like Obama walking scripture. You like Orville walking scripture and not even realizing what you're saying. Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? Do y'all remember that? You see that his faith and his affection actions were working together and in his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as a righteousness and he was called God's friend. You see that a person is considered righteous but what they do and not by faith alone. In the same way was not even Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction? As the body without spirit is dead, so faith without deed is dead. Um, with um, Obama, you remember the time in 2000, oh God, 2000, I used to call you wise man, knowing man, because I thought you would choose the right path. Hussein Obama, there are two kinds of wisdom. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by their deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitterness, bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Okay, but terrorist police of the terrorist community of Koreatown in the hood of Los Angeles, and I will say this in testimony till I perfect it, part, not only part illegally, because they are an evil undefined, by the fire hydrant. The initial 1122 is a bardello. It's like a bathhouse in San Francisco. Many a times have I see what lives there come in late. One whore that lives there had her pimp drop her over there or her trip and then walk. It's amazing. It's totally amazing. Um, what kind of wisdom is there? in a Korean businessman benefiting from American taxpayers and a Korean manager walking the American dream 
walk in a conspiracy with shit engineer, Caucasian terrorists, walking kites for Orville from the whore next door. I want to know what's the wisdom in that. I want to know about the deed. I want to know. Obama, you have no wisdom. For your wisdom is of Lucifer. Your knowledge was taught to you as a child. Sir, who is your father? I want to know who is your pappy. For he was your mentor. A communist, I do believe. Who benefited from America as you are. As are all these immigrants. As Glenn Betts says, welcome to America. But you can't have Obamacare, which we're going to rebuild and make it right. You cannot have our jobs. You cannot have our shelter. What is the wisdom, Obama, behind giving 11 million, because that's what you're going to end up doing. Five million is a drop in half. They just arrived in the train last night. What is the merit? What is the wisdom of destroying America? Um, now I'm going to speak to Mr. Boehner, the Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House, I, uh, I address you, the Tea Party Republicans. If there is any president worthy of impeachment other than Nixon, it is the communist Muslim that rules our country now. For he acted as an emperor. He changed the Constitution of the United States of America. Do we understand each other? I'm dumb, I'm stupid, undereducated, but I know the Constitution enough to know that the motherfucker is changing it. He's changing years, decades of laws regarding immigration. And for what? For what? Why is Obama letting these people who have been proven by action and history to be unworthy of God, grace, or humanity. Again, Speaker Bayern, I just walked out here. Uh, tomorrow I return. Uh, tomorrow is uh, in Long Beach. They're having uh, at 3 p.m. They're having a uh, oh, what's it called? Farmers market. I'm gonna go buy some fruit. Mr. Bayern. I took a walk. This is an America. In, I don't know when it stopped being America. Just think this whole area in the 70s was crime written. I mean crime written. I mean you had people coming in here like it was an STD with an antibiotic. They fixed it up. But guess what? The pimps, the crack holes, the homosexuals, the immigrants, both legal and illegal, have completely changed America. And it has been allowed by our presidents. This is America. We didn't go to India. We didn't go to fucking India. We didn't go to Iran. God dang it, they'd kill me in Iran. But it's not supposed to have any homosexuals there. But, uh, like Sue DeBay says. <laughs> anyway. We did not go anywhere. This is where God put us. This is what God says. This is your Gucci. We didn't go to El Salvador. We didn't go to Mexico. We didn't go to Canada. We didn't go to Pakistan. We didn't go to Spain. We didn't go to England. We didn't go nowhere. We stayed in America. We stayed home because we were, we had promises that we were going to walk. We had a dream. 
and yet everyone from Telemundo to La Buena El Malo, La Bea, La Pignon, everybody, oh, they are good. Yet La 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 sí. La Mala La Feo es bueno. Okay, La Mala, she, she every day she gets phone calls from these nasty Mexicans. Women, one woman wanted La Mala to call the boyfriend at work. I'm serious. And wanted the man to come see her on a holiday and lie to his wife. That's a Mexican. I want you to say that. And you turn on La Buena La Mala and you will see that I speak truth. We don't need these people. And you heard Obama. One crime. One offense. And we're fixing to make it a bigger law. You harm an American born. And you are an immigrant. You will be exported. God dang it, I had these homosexuals from over here. Call me Frankenstein. Who the fuck are they? What have they done in their life? But suck a dick. <laughs> What have they done with passing STD? Call me names. The Dalai Lama bowed to me. Not once, not twice. The Dalai Lama bowed to me three times and did three different times. No, hell no. That's not wisdom. America, 50 some percent are against immigration. We can make it more. It's time for America to... And Obama. I ain't hear nothing about you seeing in them goddamn borders. I didn't. How many immigrants are here legal on student visas and plan to stay? That's not wisdom. 50% of all jobs in America and the world will change. They won't be needed. Look what's happening. People, you stupid America. 50% will not be needed. Will not be needed. And you bang and find what those are. Clerks at Ralph's, them nasty Mexicans, they ain't gonna be working there no more because everybody gonna be checking out their own groceries. Can you imagine about that? Secretaries will not be needed no more. Technology has provided a comfort and luxury to corporations. What's gonna happen with those? It'll be 20 million by then, when 50% can't find work. They already thieves. They already liars. They already cheaters. They already violent. What the hell then? We have not got paid yet. We have not. I got things to do. I ran the baby so she would get tired, but I was so afraid of her catching a disease. I, I can't let her walk. I love my girl. To you, she's just a dog. To me, she's my comfort. Anyway, Speaker of the House, Boehner. Orville called me. What are you doing, Nikki? Nikki, they only look at that makes them come in case I didn't come. Orville, then why did those Mexican supervisors, Chris, Freddy, whatever, Gordo? Gordo, God's got a plan for you, puto. You wait and see. And I'll be around. I will be there to see you walk your reward. I promise. I asked Orwell, I said, Orwell, then why in the hell did they make you put your name in a hat and see who's going to be the winner? I'll tell you who's going to be the winner. Americans are going to be the winner. Because I'm not alone. 
There's 33 million Americans and more growing who are pissed. Now we're going to take their piss and we're going to change. And that's another thing. The Department of Immigration and Custom Enforcement must be, must go on farewell. You ain't doing your work. You're not doing your work. You're not picking up the immigrants. You're not doing your work. We don't need you. The Board of Education, we don't need you. Look at Carly Ponty. It looks like a goddamn sewer around that school. My girl couldn't even walk. Think about it. Speaker Boehner, I have witnessed Mexican beating their dog in front of that school in daylight. I even went to a teacher. And this is the merit that Obama says as he quotes scripture. That's bullshit. Anyway, I want to upload this. I need... <laughs> I hurt so much. I mean, I hurt. I need to exercise. I do. Um... Americans, submit yourself to God. Walk the wisdom of higher. God loves, God's love and ours is a faith in the incarnate Son of God. Concluding affirmation. This is something you must learn. Truth, that which conforms to fact. Unbelief is doubt. Vain, worthless, unsuccessful, foolish, in vain, means without success or result. Valiant, courageous. Now, um, Speaker of the House, Tao Te Chang, Chapter 29. If a ruler behaves as he has invented the world, he will no do no good at all. That's who's saying Obama. The earth is a sacred vessel and cannot be owned or improved. If you try to possess it, you will destroy it. If you try to hold on to it, you will lose it. Some are leaders, then others follow. Some drift like the wind, and others drive hard. Some are thick skinned, and others have no armor. And some are destroyers, and others they destroy. So now you know why. El lac la ma a porque. The sage abandons greed, all false charm, and every last iota of pride. In grace of God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a prophecy right now. And I have many more, many more prophecies since I was young that I'm going to give you. And I can't believe it's walking. The American dollar will be no more. No more. I want you to say it. Public housing will be no more. How you going to pay public housing when you ain't got no dollar? All that walks will walk a Ferguson because it already walked a watch ride. And America, the people that you gave allowed a Muslim communist, because he is Muslim and he is a communist, has destroyed America. And it's going to get worse. Brazil and China and other nations want to take the dollar and wipe their nasty crusty third world ass with it and another thing before we talk about the environment and climate change let's talk about China god dang it let's talk about Pakistan let's talk about all developing nations that are putting more pollutants in in our atmosphere, in our ozone, than Americans. 
Why should America be held at a higher standard? We need this money. Because we have no money. We have no money. I want you to say that. The Federal Reserve Bank is printing money without collateral. The gold that we were entrusted to hold is not there. Ask Germany. Germany, have you received your installment in full of your gold? Your gold. Think about it. It is not sustainable. And all these immigrants that are here will prove, for they have already proven, they are unworthy of thought. Speaker Boehner, how many times have Orwell and I been threatened by this neighborhood? How many times? Yet they call the police. Speaker of the House, next door is the Sheraton buildings. There's a homosexual in 26. Yet when he moved in, called the police and lied. And of course, come move on, the police believed him. Police believed him. No. Hell no. And I have something else to say. States of America will begin to secede. Hawaii, you go ahead and secede. You give too much welfare to you people. But let me tell you, <coughs> California is lost. <coughs> California is no longer. But we will do what the Antichrist could not do. We will seal our borders. You want our food? Baby, you're going to pay like you do for China. You want to cross our streets that are nicely paved without refuge? It's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Because Americans, what has Mexico ever done for America? But give out a hand. Where's my grace? What has any third world nation done? other than send us their shit. What? The Speaker of the House, you need to incorporate more of the 47% to speak of truth, because there are other Mexicans like me who, be, who feel as I do. I mean, here Eric Garcetti, all that Melba toast, I can't believe I voted for him. I can't believe I cannot believe I voted for that piece of shit. America, we are held at a different standard. We're held at a different standard. We let anybody come in. Anybody. And that anybody is bringing their culture, their thought, their ego, and it's not our ego. Can you imagine that Muslim homosexual from Iran? Him and that bitch Elizabeth Eldon have perpetrated more harm than is conscionable. One is a church. The other is an immigrant. No, Malcolm. This ain't gonna work. And Speaker Boehner, you gotta calm down these Republicans. Look, I get pissed. Walk my D meals, I get pissed. But baby, we must speak truth. We already have the election, though it's not guaranteed. We have the election. It is not guaranteed. What are you going to do? we got to speak truth about the 47%. I'm part of it. I'm the lower part. Ask them homosexuals over there. Anyway. 
Hussein Obama, you don't know scripture. Just like these Koreans don't know the Pledge of Allegiance. Because if they did, they would have seen the harm. God damn it, that managers, all that whole floor saw these motherfucking terrorists. Those the Caucasian, the white shed engineering and drunk ride aid worker. Passed by here slowly. Speaker of the House, I promise. And curse me out. I guess them Korean bastards were eating popcorn taking movies. No, Obama. You are wrong. You are wrong in eagle thought and form. And who in the fuck is Frank Davis Marshall? Your mother was a whore boy. A whore. Just like my dear Olga. God dang it, I tell you. I'm white. I got enough blood in me. Why to claim myself white? And I'm gonna make it legal. Like my name change. Speaker of the House, I heard Judge Perrine. I'm sorry about the name, baby girl. I heard her speak, and it is true. Every girl, you keep on doing what you're doing, girl. You keep on doing what you're doing. Because. <laughs> I invite any American vacationing in Los Angeles before you go pay for your hundred dollar tickets to go to Disneyland come on over here come to Koreatown come on and you want to notice the difference come on start at Olympic and no 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 first start on the coast and start walking your way by you will see what America once was. Then if you get to Normandy, oh my God. No, you decide. You go to any block from Normandy down, in the down, in mid Russia, anywhere. And be careful with your driving. The Koreans don't know how to fucking die. They don't, poor people. Zen is of God. Zen is the sign of God. Koreans are not. Anyway, Confucius is the thought of God. Buddha is the emotion. That you don't understand this is not. It's, it's understandable. You people never pledged allegiance. How many immigrants we got here can't even say the Pledge of Allegiance? God dang it, we have kids in America don't even know who Vice President Biden is. They don't. Oh, Mr. Sheridan, James Sheridan J Sr. Have you witnessed any more terrorist cops of Koreatown, the terrorist community, shoot any unarmed Mexicans? Like at Rite Aid on 3rd and Vermont, Mr. Rouse, have you? And Mr. Sheridan, how is your son? How is your son? Is he still harvesting crackheads to ride his buttocks? Is it? Mr. Sheridan, I was dying of cancer. How is your queer son? Too much wrong. Too much wrong. Luckily tomorrow I will be away from here. Uh, I need to go get me some weed. I, it's dangerous. I don't want to take grace because I never know when someone's going to shoot me. Remember they've already threatened me many times. As they beat their meat at me. Oh it's so trashy. Anyway, Speaker of the House, my letter's coming on real good. I gotta focus and get that done. Um, I got another letter about this neighborhood. I'm gonna give you testimony of why in La Lama of Porque immigrants must walk the path of legal immigration. And Obama, you gave it to five million? Okay. That leaves, let me see, we got 11, we take away 5, we got 1, that's 6 million. 
Oh, I expect they'll see me and get the fuck out. Do you see how mean they are? Speaker of the House, do you know at Republic Services, a 39 state conglomerate walking equity? Those nasty Mexicans toyed with Orville. Orville didn't tell me till later because if he would have told me before I'd gone up there, climbed that motherfucking fence, and told Freddy to kiss my nigga ass. They toyed about the turkey. A turkey. A buzzard. Every day they would tell him, "You, we got one for you. We got one for you. Well, putos, I'm not horrible. I'm not. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the 99 cents store and get me a poster and watch what I ride on. And I'm going to take pictures. Because Donald Slager, CEO of Republic Services, you allowed those nasty Mexicans on CTA and Paramount to walk on Obama like an emperor. Seal Beach, I'm talking to you directly. And I will be seeing you very soon, baby. Seal Beach, there is this half-breed nigga like Obama who purposely mixes the recycle. Purposely misses the recycle. He knocks over buildings. He kn No, he doesn't knock them over. He hits them. The residents of Seal Beach have asked him about it and he's lied. Now, I know y'all may go for Obama, but let me tell you, this is your community, Seal Beach. Do you want Seal Beach to become Koreatown? Do you? Then why in the fuck don't you demand that they fire that son of a bitch? And East L.A., oh, cabrones, come here, East L.A. Apparently, you have forgotten your history. East Los Angeles, you have forgotten your history. There is a nigga named Easy Money who goes in his truck, a weapon of mass destruction. Get run over by a truck and see what happens. He will stall his truck to terrorize a Mexican. My people. What are you going to do about it, East LA? What are you going to do about Robert? I'll find out his name. Uh, what are you going to do about Robert Roberto? We already gave him a home, East L.A. He's got two kids. We put him in college, East L.A. We gave him over $35 an hour, East L.A. And he still terrorizes my people. My people. East L.A. is holy. Holy. What are y'all going to do about it? Anyway. Banger, I'm going to call and see if I got, he got paid yet. I need to go do some things. Well, not really because of grace, but I will go get some weed. Um, and I got to pay some, some things. And I'm going to order the package. It's $34. Full. Orville or not to pass the A plus. I already know I can pass it. But Orville, because he was beat by his stepfather and chained and, and tied up, then he learned the flesh was the only joy he could get. Then he went to prison and he learned more and he learned more. And in the process he lost his dignity, he lost his pride and self respect. Now I can't give him his pride. I can't give him none of those three. But this son of a bitch is part of my partnership. Come hell or hot. Oh, guess what? I have senior housing in Portland, Oregon. Them cheap motherfuckers want to give me a studio. Uh uh. I want a one bedroom. What they did to me in Oregon Health Division. They threatened my life. They mobbed my home. I was raped. Terrorized. No. Paul and Ogan, I want 
a one bedroom and I'm calling you back today and I'm going to record it. Uh, I'm still going to get my license. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I get my A license, which I will. I can do long haul from uh, Riverside up to Oklahoma and back. It's flat. Uh, driving a truck is a most, it's lethal. You have a whipping with 18 wheels. You must know. You must, and yet I have known men, a man, who would keep a thing piled high with crystal mail. No, uh, for me to move to Portland right now would be a one bedroom because I need a bedroom to grow my weed. Otherwise, like I said, I'm going to continue with what I'm doing. Gomer Powell's going to pass his test and I'm going to pass mine. Um, I can't do nothing about what he was taught and what he likes because he's, I tell you, Mr. Bainer, I had a Mexican whore leave a, a note for Oracle telling him she couldn't write. <laughs> telling her, I put it on Facebook, they probably deleted it. Telling him that he, she would treat him better. And there's another one, Mr. Bainer, Speaker of the House. There's another whore, Mexican whore, with a little bastard girl. And there's more, and there's more, and there's more, and there's more, and there's more. I can do nothing about more. Or will work at Republic. And he will be insured to high hell and back. Because when that son of a bitch dies, I'm sending him to Israel to be buried for Christ's law. So guys, i got to close up. i got to see the money, Sarah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about Grace. Speaker of the House, as I was reading the letter that I sent to President Obama, that son of a bitch didn't even give a fuck, but you, you see where he's giving out letters to white people. I think that black son of a bitch wanted to be totally white. He was pissed from the day he was born. And then he had all these terrorists as mentors. No, America, it's not sustainable. I will continue, and very soon, very shortly, I will have a lighter put in Henry, and I will be doing my demils from Long Beach, from San Diego, from Seal Beach, from Compton, from Watts. I want to walk through Watts. Uh, I want to walk downtown and show you the truth. Americans are homeless. As a Muslim communist walked his ego of distributing the wealth to criminals. And again, climate change, fuck you. Just don't mess with my Sierras. Don't mess. Don't you dare in the Los Angeles for it. Derail for all. Don't you fuck with me. Don't, don't mess with our national treasures. But everything else you wanted to go for it. I think carbon, clean coal can be done. Can be done. Uh, before you ask America to sacrifice, you ask other nations to sacrifice. Because we already have. Do you understand? Do you comprehend? You have allowed immigrants like those Koreans to walk conspiracies. How many times did that manager, that motherfucker, have these shit engineer, the Bardello and everybody walking through here? And they would look and turn that way. I predict death, motherfuckers. I can tell your evil aura. And another thing. Cops. <laughs> Every word I use is in the vocabulary and spoken in public. Ride the metro. Get off on the BART. In San Francisco. Anywhere you go, you hear black people calling themselves awful names. No. And just now, I was walking this nasty, fat Mexican. No women. My own sister fucked my husband when I was dying. And she's Mexican. And that bitch will never be allowed in my presence. No. Mexicans have harmed me since I was 22 months of old as they blamed me. 
Anyway, in grace of God, be blessed in honoring. Honor America. Pledge allegiance to the United States of America. One nation under God. Finish it, baby. Then say the Lord's Prayer. Abu Wan Desmayo. Nedash Mak. Tetemalakutu. Newezenek. Akana Abahara. That is crisis language. I do not speak Aramaic or Syrian. Mexicans, I want did you see 60 minutes yesterday? Those people I personally would have carried on my side to America. Those children, they put their children first before they put their lives. I was stunned. Syria, you are women of God. And Obama, you said something about Christians. What about the Christians that are being murdered? Murdered, slaughtered by Islam. Your people. Bullshit, boy. You don't read scripture. Just like that bitch you married. Audacity, Michelle Obama. Making fun of the flag. Ridiculing the flag. Girl, I'm looking for something. And if it is true, girl, I will blast you like Janet Moss. In grace of God, America. Go to Fox News. That's where the real black people are. That's where the real Mexicans are. That's where the real good people are. Because we're fixing to change the thought. In grace of God, be honored. And amen, so the man. Look, America. Get pissed. Black America, god dang it, stay pissed. But the violence, baby? The violence? Are you crazy? Don't you remember Martin Luther King? The only way we're going to change this is by getting rid of the Democrats. California must become a red state. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, if Mitt Romney don't want to run, fine. I bless him, and I hope he stays in public office. Because he is a man of God. But, 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 <laughs> America, we're pissed. Just like the black communities, we're pissed. I mean, we fucking pissed. Just say. We can't even fix Henry all the way because he is good. He's a good call. Well, the Mexicans wanted to junk him. No, baby, I junked your DNA. That truck took us to and from. To and from. As Mexicans use it as a party car. I told that guy from India. That cop from Paramount. And I can't drive in Paramount. I cannot. It's not safe. They fuck with the old cars. It's like Garcetti in that Poor man, Burgosa. America. And black community, because we are white America and blacks. We are one. We are one. Let us join forces as Republicans. And if we cannot save America, let's segregate and let's start suing. Any immigrant that's here on a visa, a student visa, that states, read the law, we're going to fix it to export you. You're here to learn an American core value and get the fuck out back to your country. America. We, own, we cannot do this alone. You must work your slideshows. Do you have an immigrant that's here on a visa? Keep tabs on it. Do you have a Muslim, a mosque? God dang it, baby, you better get armed. You got Koreans around you? Baby, notice them. The only thing Koreans care about is themselves. They lost Zen during the Korean War. And Confucius, he just fucking gave up on them. Because it's not about me. It is not about them. It is about America. How can you live in America and run a business only for your people? Then you need to go back to North Korea.
so you can learn what you have. Again, it's been 55 minutes. I need to call and see if we got paid. Speaker of the House, uh-uh. Mitt Romney, don't back off for the 47%, baby. I'll go up there, and guess what? I'll be driving an 18-wheeler. I'll have money. Money. Money for my smocks my 76 women will wear. Money for my aunt, uh, interns to get all my CDs, put all the pictures on them, categorize them, and put them on a database I will design and access. I want to just have it a thought and get it. Like I did for the medical marijuana program in Oregon. Um, America, that's what y'all got to do. Because you waiting for a government program, you crazy. Do you know I got to go and deal with Hollywood's DMV because a Russian, old Russian immigrant that we let in, that bitch, I saw the letter, my disability plaque is till I die. That bitch gave it till 12.15. Well, bitch, I'm coming to Hollywood. And I want to speak to you and I want to ask you, when did you become a doctor? And if you did, what the hell are you doing here in America? Are you like Tannen Martin? No, that's bullshit. Too much harm from immigrants. And these homosexuals, they lost the message. Being gay is not a choice. Being gay is a lesson. A lesson. And for walking that lesson well, God will give you in the Holy Ghost permission, permission. Can you imagine that? I am marked by God. Can you believe that? I am marked by God. When I pray, the stars on my hands completely, they all line, it's complete. Fragrance is common. The Blessed Virgin is... I broke my rosary. <laughs> Suffice, America, we are one nation under God. One nation under one God. That we have allowed immigrants, legal and illegal, to say what America is to be is reflective of a stupid America. Now do something about it. Y'all be blessed, okay? Um, oh, you pray for us and I'll pray for you my husband will never change unfortunately he will meet his reward but while we walk this earth as a union that son of a bitch is going to be the best he can be if I have to beat it in him and by beat I mean we will lay in that bed with that goddamn direct TV off and go, you gotta learn the, the glossary first. Everything is easy. They told Orville A license was hard. Orville life was hard. It must have been Jay. Jay, kiss my nigga ass, baby. And I do have nigga ways. I do. What is that word defined as? That the black people have allowed that to become a sensitive proves that our white government has brainwashed them into thinking you get mad about that you get mad about the nigger word but don't you get mad about we take your job and give it to the immigrants now don't you get mad black America that we take your home that we take the woman you love and make you make her a whore don't get mad black America don't get mad don't get mad now, black America, you get mad about the word nigga. Do what y'all did to Paul Jones. Audacity. No. Black America, back down, baby. Back down. Put it in reverse. Hit the air brakes. And think a moment. How many black Americans in the United States of America? How many? There's 11 million Mexicans and more. No, because the others are like me. Are like I. 
of me. America and black America, your violence. You are such a violent people because we did it to you. We took you from your land, your land. We brought you here. We separated your family. Your family members died in those ships and the ones that made it were our perversions. Thomas Jefferson, a president. As a white people, but, well, they ain't got no right. You got that right, she's got rights. Any one of that black woman or sisters has ever brought to Thomas Jefferson's heritage. That girl didn't say, come fuck me. No, Jefferson did that. So black America, you get mad about that, not about a word. Do you understand? Right here on Virgil, where they got those three Korean buildings, I have it on my Facebook list, they deleted it. A black man that can't get a job. Because Koreans won't hire him. They'll let him sleep on the sidewalk, but they won't hire him. Yet easy money is harming everybody. And it's okay. I say fire easy money and I hire my black son right here on Virgil. I'll find him. Or not buy, hire my black son in, in, in Artesia. He went to rob me the other day. No. We can, black America, you must join forces with us, the white people. Because liberalism has changed. No. Black America, violence is not the key. What did Martin Luther King say? What did he say? And they killed him. What did Jesus say? And he's forgotten. He's a myth. Sacrifice everything. A myth. We got the... We got the Pope walking San Francisco bathhouse and how many Catholics one billion oh no baby you ain't got it right and you know that the black mirror I can't say it enough baby girl it's hard to walk your life as I walked it not as a black person but many things you forced to do I had to do Black America, let's get mad about status quo. And let's impeach that son of a bitch. He turned out to be a wild president. Anyway, one hour and two minutes. I can't do this. In grace of God, be honored. In amens of amends. Uh, I want to see your videos. I want to see your demeals. Post them on my Facebook. I want to see your slideshows. Black America, I want to see your slideshows. Let's go before Congress. We got it, Republicans. Let's change what cannot be changed. And again, if you got Mexicans living around you, baby, you better get an STD exam and you better lock down everything and keep your children close. In grace of God, be honored in amen.